agreeing item of the day. We're just both agreeing. Yeah. This this is a grab. We are down to this final quantities in this right now. This is the Kirk Picard autographed plaque. For the first time ever, and I believe one of the only times, we have the signatures of Patrick Stewart and William Shatner on a huge plaque. The plaque itself measures 20 by 16. It's $215, C10657, limited to only 2,500 pieces. And when you consider the millions of Star Trek fans there are just in this country, that is a, a literal drop in the bucket. That, but, I think this has to be the item of the day, actually, well, you know, the it, two captains. It also has a wonderful bit of collectability about it that unless you're a real, a real dyed-in-the-wool fan, and one of those, I, I hate to say uh, Star Trek geeks like I am, but I guess I'm going to say that. Anyway, I, when you get down to the nitty-gritty, this is William Shatner. And if you look at my little finger right here, it's William Shatner as Admiral Kirk. Oh, wow. One of the few pictures ever with Admiral Bars. Because he got demoted again, didn't he? He did Very indeed. Very fast. Well, he trashed the Enterprise. Yeah, that was a big boo-boo. Just a... Just a yeah. yeah. Or Bad boy. DeForest Kelly said, <laughs> you did what you had to, Jim. You know. <laughs> but this, this is fun. And, and, of course, what I like about it, too, you have the uh, second Enterprise. Actually, it's still... It's... Uh, Literally, the first Enterprise, the one that came from the first, the first film. Well, actually, you well, wait a second. The second, the first Enterprise was a sailing ship. Well, that's true. The that's very true. first Enterprise. The very first. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So you mean the, the first, first starship? Outer, the first starship okay. Enterprise. Very yeah. good. First starship. So this is actually the second version with the uh, slightly different uh, nacelle. He knows there. everything. And the warp engine. I told you. I just, I, Who knew what a nacelle was? <laughs> you know <laughs> what a nacelle is. It's, it's all those. See, it's, it's. You grow up, you know, grow up in a, in a farming community, and you have a television, and that's pretty much what you're going to do. But great shots of both of them, and like I said, a little bit of additional collectability because in this part, he's a, he was only admiral really for the first, because he actually even in the first film, he got a field demotion to be back as captain right. of the Enterprise, and then in the second one. After he uh, trashed it, they, as you said, they permanently demoted him back to uh, back to Captain Kirk. Yeah, this is this is a uh, it's huge. You're going to have it to kind of make room on a wall somewhere mm -hmm. for this because it needs it needs a a spotlight on it. I think it is a fabulous piece. It's a real centerpiece. I yeah. mean, a, a real it could become the real pride of your collection. Two hundred and fifteen dollars when you realize you're getting the two autographs plus the limited edition, the two great eight by ten shots as well. Quite uh, a value. Without giving too much away, I, as I said, neither Patrick or um, uh, Bill sign autographs at conventions now. Mm. Um, they just, I suppose, there's just too many people. Oh, they, they couldn't do it. Be um, so clobbered, it's yeah. very difficult to get a captain's autograph mm -hmm. um, and to get them both together on this fabulous plaque with them. I actually prefer our little Enterprise here. Um, it's it's a much it's uh, it's a much more sophisticated ship. Much bigger. Uh, bigger uh, ship. There was though um, a very famous uh, m monthly magazine who, when they uh, reviewed our encounter at Farpoint uh, pilot showed it upside down and <laughs> oh, I remember. that's how much, yes, that's how I much they knew about Star Trek. I remember. Of course, so. the, the, the fifth version, uh, 1701D of the Enterprise, which was built at the Utopia Planitia that's exactly Space right. Yards, that's exactly Mars. right. And we're doing an episode, we're filming it next week, where we have a story about the Utopia Planitia building oh. of the Enterprise. Oh, wonderful. This is, we, we, this we is, just have this empathy happening here today, Steve. You say something, it's, it's relevant. It's, it's great. This, this, this Betazoid thing is just working out. It's rub, it rubs off by osmosis. There you go. C10, 657, very popular now, $215. Not too many of these to go around at the moment. And speaking of that, not too many of these to go around. The uh, Counselor Troy autograph plaque. La we are down two-thirds. A little over two-thirds have been ordered, so less than one-third of what we had to offer you still remain. $99.75. Easy pay. Three payments of $33.25. C10 660. This could be last call for that. And also extremely popular, that picture that was personally selected by Patrick Stewart. Gates McFadden and Patrick Stewart personally signed that one. And as uh, Marina pointed out, Patrick's in his civvies. Not too many shots of him. Uh, in the cities in the Star Trek universe, $155.
So here it is. This is, is this a great looking kind Looks of like place? an etching or something, doesn't it? I mean, it does. it's, 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 in fact, you know what this looks like? This looks like, we did an episode um, called Second Chances and yes. Lieutenant Riker, the cute one, mm. did a, <laughs> did, um, an etching for Troy and it, it looks exactly the same, although yes. that was a real etching. Mm -hmm. This, this is just fabulous. I and love this. Embossed gold foil cover. Over 600 have been ordered just from the preview of the show today. It's $28, C12, <laughs> Six ninety-six. Only twenty-one thousand of these were created by Malibu. Now think of the collectability angle here. It's a number one first print, first edition, first print of a brand new comic book. That's eminently collectible. It also is sort of a limited edition within a limited edition because of the gold foil cover. Only twenty-one thousand of those were created, and we got access to all of them. It is a beautifully detailed, and you expect this from Malibu. You have those wonderfully, almost individually painted panels. Mm -hmm. In fact, not almost. I mean, I, they are actually. I, ha I have to say, painted. actually, these are some of the best likenesses of the characters mm -hmm. that I have ever seen. They, I mean, that really does look like Colm. It does. That really does look like Terry, and I mm -hmm. know because Terry's one of my best friends. Um, it does. It really, really does. The, the, um, sometimes, you know, we buy, we, or we don't buy stuff, obviously, we get given stuff mm -hmm. that uh, is supposed to be us, and we go, well, that really looks like my aunt, but, you know, <laughs> thank you very much. This stuff really looks like the people it's supposed to be portraying. It does. There's Rosalind Chow as mm -hmm. Keiko. Yes. Fabulous. And again, just, just beautifully yeah. done. They, the colors like are fantastic cork. on this. Well, that's, they do a, a is this process. glossy paper? It is. It's oh, a glossy, wow. acid-free, okay. and they individually paint each one of these panels. The Malibu Comic Company is one of those uh, newer companies in the world, newer when you compare it to, to DC or to Marvel, but they have taken the comics world by storm yeah. and realized DC and Marvel were bidding for the Deep Space Nine comic, and uh, the folks at... Uh, at at Paramount weren't all that concerned financially. They wanted a company that could absolutely accurately portray the, the splendor, the color, the vibrancy of you the You can really Space see the Nine difference universe. because when there's white in normal co comic mm -hmm. books, it's beige, but yes. this is white. Absolutely. This is, pages are white. They're not that kind of grainy stuff. And do you recognize, I believe this was an episode that um, What's it John called? Tesh was in? Did, he was no, John Tesh did a, one of our episodes. Well, his character has returned. Uh, it's John Tesh. Absolutely. Is this wild? Without a piano, yes. I have to say, thank goodness. Um, but <laughs> oh, now he's down. Oh, come on. <laughs> John, write to Marina, care of Paramount Pictures. <laughs> no, John, John, and John and I go way back. Um, oh, we're, we're, we're fans of each other, so mm -hmm. I'm oh, just teasing him. Terrific. But he's a big fan of the show, and we're big fans mm -hmm. of his. Yeah. Oh. It looks just like John. It does. Too. It does. I mean, that is. Uh, yeah. That's great. Oh, he's saying something about buy my CD. I saw it's no, 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 no. Okay. He's not. See, you're oh. just as bad as I am. I am indeed. <laughs> That's why we're getting along so well. We head back to the phones now, which are again very, very busy. You might want to consider using automated ordering at this point in time. Hi, welcome to QVC. 